welcome, welcome, welcome to Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I'm Lipstick Paddy and I'm your host for today. And thank goodness that today we've got a good Kickstarter. As I don't want three bad ones in a week, we've had two. So anyway, what we're looking at, we're looking at Bullet. Woohoo! Yeah, it's a good one. Let's go to the highlight reel. Bullet. Ooh, love heart. A shoot 'em up puzzle action game. Oh, yes, this is so exciting. Ooh, level 99 Games is back on Kickstarter. Out of all the level 99 fighting games, this one is certainly going to be the gateway one of them all. And it has a great solo mode. And there's no men in this. It's, it's eight heroines that you're, is the cat. So, wow, oh, look at this. 2,000 backers on the first day. Um, is there a reason to get a reminder? <laughs> Well, there's no stretch goals planned, but there may be add-ons, so there is that. Now, the, the character art is fantastic. You're each going to pull your discs from the bag into the, your mini bag. You each have a bag also that you're pulling from. Yeah. If you pull a disc from your bag, um, it's going to start falling like columns. And if they get to the bottom here, you're actually going to harm yourself. And um, you'll notice the asynchronous with the characters, not just in their abilities, but how much HP they have. Very distinct characters though, very distinct. The very, very different. They come from different parts of the world as well. Each heroine wields a different power that changes the game. Master paper, gravity, guns, music, and more to defend the earth. Yeah, it does look very cool. We, we like the column, we like how the column system works. We like the strategy of the patterns to, to get rid of the discs and send them to your enemy. We love that. We love that each each of them has a name. I'm going to send the shooting star to you. And you can get like a little bit of role playing going with the names of these cards. They're pretty fun. Um, four nice game modes. They're free for all. Uh, these tokens do look really cool though. I do like them. They're calling them Punch Board Bullet. Now there might be an add-on to get these acrylic... Um, that's something that would be nice to see. Ooh, you get bullet with deluxe tokens. Um, wooden bullet tokens are coming. Ages wise though, I mean, the girl from Russia is only 14. Serbia, this is 27 year old, so she's like the uh, gray haired one. <laughs> 27 being old. It says an Hawaiian, but you're an American if you're from Hawaii, aren't you? <laughs> 371 from Korea. The the kind of level 99 are known for their world building, the like depth of characters and um, all that good stuff, and of course the amazing abilities. Every, everyone's overpowered. They don't look wood, do they? These um, chips, <laughs> but they do look very cool. I'm putting all the bonus content up front is the way they're doing it, which is which is nice. Uh, shipping is pretty good as well. Mexico shipping, cool. We like this, and it's fairly European cheap. We've even got a bullet soundtrack. What's going on in here? It says, why is it all female? <laughs> in play World of Warcraft, I've got more chicky do characters than men characters in World of Warcraft. Uh, as long as they feel powerful to use and all that good, good, good stuff with it. It's kind of the highest minimum pledge that I've seen, um, but it is what it is. Nine dollars, not too bad to put a late pledge in on this. Could be a filler. Definitely a nice gateway game. And um, certainly a good introduction if you're gonna put out another level 99 game after this. Cool Kickstarter company, they brought Bullet out here. It's doing well on Kickstarter, we're good to see. And wow, 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 we recommend it. Yes, we do. Keep it on your radar because it is looking like a hot game from level 99 with a small box but a lot in the box to love. Oh yes! There's a lot to love, a lot to love about this game. It's looking very fun. Nice, 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 nice. yes, everything, everything. Let's go to the Kickstarter page after this important message from the studio. Kickstarter Radio 102.4 does not stand still. It is constantly evolving. Our Saturday show has just been upgraded to the newest, skinniest version, where we only look at the games we covered in the week in a new, skinnier format. Also, our live show on Sunday has been trimmed off the fat too, and we look at games that we could not cover in the week that are full of promise too. 
and also we will be covering all the interesting and cool games that are worth your attention, so it is worth subscribing to this channel just to see all that we offer. So why not subscribe and make this channel even better as we have a ton of social stretch goals. So this channel gets bigger, better, and better for you, the viewer that loves Kickstarters. So if you're bored of retail, this is the YouTube channel made for you. Bullet, ooh, love heart, a shoot 'em up puzzle action game. Oh, yes, this is so exciting. Ooh, Level 99 Games is back on Kickstarter. And this is going to be a very interesting one to go down. It says it's a puzzle-driven, real-time. Now, the real-time, you don't have to play real-time if you've got peeps with, you know, that a little bit slow. <laughs> But if you want the big party time, you want to put the clock on it. And it's two minutes around as well, so it's pretty fast. It calls itself a shmup, an inspired board game fe featuring awesome anime style artwork and a magical cast. Now, the game is, out of all of the level 99 fighting games, this one is certainly going to be the gateway one of them all. Uh, um, as it's the easiest to learn and you can see here it is in the light category in fact if there's like one to five weight it's coming in at a two quick games 15 minutes can be 20 minutes though depending on the game time there's different game times to play and it has a great solo mode and um, one other thing to mention is the reason it's bullet love heart is because there's no men in this. It's, it's eight heroines that you're is the cat. So, and each of these heroines has a alter ego side, which you can flip the card, and they become a boss. And that boss can be played in a cooperative boss fight or a or the solo mode. So, it's. Eight heroines and eight bosses, again the alter egos of these characters become a boss, which is very, very cool. Wow, look at this, 2,000 backers on the first day. Level 99 has a big following, it really does, and get that reminder on this one, certainly. Um, is there a reason to get a reminder? Well, there's no stretch goals planned, but there may be add-ons, so there is that to consider, which is why I'll come back later on and see if there's any add-ons. Yes, as we'll see if I can spot any add-ons that might come this way. Now, so yeah, props to the team, already got, already flying, really, and um, which is very good. Coming out of the gate with a couple of languages, it'd be nice to see if there's a French edition, maybe German edition, um, that might come up. I, like I said, you've got to press the remind me because there could be things happening on the campaign. Um, you can pledge early, 72 hours, which is a fantastic early bird time, so peeps can get it. In fact, you uh, might have time if you watch this video on its first day to get this. And uh, it's just a poster though, you know. Um, but it says, it says, it says, it says, your pledge must contain one game to receive the bonus. So no early pledging, which is kind of normal for, for early birds that you've got to pledge for the game. Not you can't go with a minimum pledge. Um, now the, the character art is fantastic. This is a, a four play setup here. And there's a central area where you have your discs. You're each going to pull your discs from the bag into the, your mini bag. You each have a bag also that you're pulling from. And during your two minute round, you're going to... You can either pull from your bag and put it on your central area here. You can set off an ability which is on this right here. You have... You come. Your characters come with five unique abilities to them, their own character. The characters even have a, a, a very unique ability on the card as well. And um, the ability cards here have three spaces here that can be upgraded from the shop here. 
the shop. When you finish your run before others, you get to choose one from here to go in, which is nice. And there's like a deck of these, so this will get refreshed every round. And at the bottom here, you've got a set of what are called pattern cards. And these pattern cards are very useful because, let me first explain. So if you pull a, a, a disc from your bag, yeah, if you pull a disc from your bag, um, it's going to start falling like columns. Now it doesn't fall to the bottom, it depends on the number and it's move. say it's got, say you've got a yellow one here and it's got a yellow two, it's going to fall to the second space on the yellow line. So it's going to jump down here, so that's how it's worked. So they're kind of falling, and if they get to the bottom here, you're actually going to harm yourself. Um, so it's going to do damage to you. So these patterns are a very good way of clearing out your discs here. But this is where the strategy go comes in play. You want to make sure that when you're firing these patterns out, when you're getting rid of them, that they are, they're going to be potentially high-numbered ones right because if you because what happens is if i clear let's say these this um red and this pink get um blown away by a, a pattern and these are both fours then these sneaky ones jump over to the opponent and it goes in the opponent's bag so that when the opponent is going to be pulling these fours out the, there's a high chance it's going to be coming right to the bottom and doing damage on them. So this is very, very powerful. This is where the attacks come in, is clearing your discs and they go over to your enemy. And each round, they're gonna go into your bag. So your bag's gonna be potentially, as the game gets goes through its rounds, it's gonna get more and more chip, uh, well, I'm gonna say chips. Uh, the, the, the discs are going in. Uh, you can get more patterns as well in the game and uh, you'll notice the asynchronous with the characters not just in their abilities but how much HP they have and um, some are going to be more difficult than others but it is fairly light. Very distinct characters though, very distinct. The very very different, they come from different parts of the world as well. Here they are, it says Heech Harrowin each heroine wields a different power that changes the game. Master paper, gravity, guns, music, and more to defend the Earth. Play in real time to form patterns, clear a board, and attack. And fight back the bullet curtain coming at you each round. And be the last heroine standing to win. This this idea of it being a shoot 'em up is that um, so these are the bullets coming in from your enemy and you're trying to get rid of the bullets and you're deflecting them to the other people is what's happening um, so yeah it does look very cool we, we like the column we like how the column system works we like the strategy of the patterns to to get rid of the discs and send them to your enemy we love that we love that each each of them has a name I'm going to send the shooting star to you! And you can get like a little bit of role playing going with the names of these cards. They're pretty fun. And um, there's not many videos on the page, which is um, kind of showing that the game is, you know, it's. Is it enough? Yeah, it's, it's enough. We might get more videos um, through the campaign. Again, the Remind Me button is going to be useful for that. But you do get to see how to play. In fact, there is one from... Is this the big one from level 99? No, there's a, there's a quick 10 minute one. And um, there's a there's a big one that they have, like an hour one where you can like listen to how the game is made and what the game is and all this stuff. Which is uh, very cool to listen to if you're interested in the project. Um, four nice game modes, a free for all. Um, is one versus one. Uh, you can do two versus two. You can see how many rounds last on your own, which is like a solo. And you could probably play that with more than one person just to see who, who who gets the highest score. And then you got the boss one, which could be um, you know you can play that solo or you can play with other people, and that's the alter ego of these characters. 
I've got anything to say though. The, the Kickstarter could do with more high high presentation quality. I mean, for example, have this clickable so I can click to see this high, more HD if Kickstarter is not allowing you because some of this stuff has, is fantastic, really is. Now, um, the way it sets up is then that the eight heroin boards they're gonna they're gonna flip into the alter ego um, the four sight boards these are what go in the middle here so there's actually three cards here and then there's the action board which is the right section the the action board though on the right syncs up with the heroin on the left so that belongs to this one and you can see that when you flip them that it may you then get the boss with her boss abilities which is cool i love this art that they've got for the alter ego it really is cool they've got too powerful they've gone into demon form something like this. reference cards are going to be good for understanding the patterns as and the potentially the abilities because there's some iconography going on but it's fairly simple and um, it, a, a, a good load of boss pattern cards for when you're fighting the bosses. Good replayability of all these cards. And you've got a massive amount of pattern cards as well um, for upgrading your character sheets. It make, makes games differently. And with the eight heroines, you know, you've got fantastic. Now, the abilities on the right here, they need... You're going to be spending action points to get them out, and that gets refreshed every round. Some of these action points may um, be able to heal you, for example, or move your move the, move the things around the uh, sideboard, as they're calling it, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, the, in, the intensity track then builds up as you go through, and it's making you it's basically things in your bag and you eventually um, make it more difficult until someone until everyone gets dies you know so you're trying to knock you out that way these tokens do look really cool though I do like them and um, they're calling them punch board bullets now there might be an add-on to get these acrylic um, that's something that would be nice to see and they do look like they could easily be acrylic really um, definitely do and um, even the bags looking cool with their emblem on I mean you're getting the pledge at 40 now it does say here oh you get bullet with deluxe tokens um, wooden bullet tokens are coming all right so they've gone wood instead of acrylic um, which is you know it's fair and fair but this is a good a good pledge to have for the weight weight of them. It's pretty cool. We've got a girl from Russia here with a Russian hat and um, looking nice. She is from the military and um, they're all looking very good. Romania, of course, where, where, where Dracula's from. Transylvania and all that good stuff. So we've got a bit of a vampire here. In fact, yeah, she's from Transylvania. <laughs> there you go. Um, Ages wise, though, I mean, the girl from Russia is only 14. 18 for this one. 18 year old American here. We've got a 19, so they're all young. Chinese one here. Serbia, this is 27 year old, so she's like the uh, gray haired one. <laughs> 27 being old. You get older, though. 33 here from Hawaii. It says Hawaiian, but you're an American if you're from Hawaii, aren't you? <laughs> um, and then we've got this mega old one here. 371 from Korea. Um, <laughs> again, the, the kind of level 99 are known for the world building, the like depth of characters and um, all that good stuff. And of course, the amazing abilities. Every, everyone's overpowered. And uh, that's kind of where the balance comes in, where everyone's overpowered. And uh, Japanese one, 
Very cool. I mean, in the anime style, it's coming from the Asian Pacific region, um, including Hawaii and the US. We're not going um, much in the way of Europeans, but um, but there we go. You know, they've done what they've done. Russia and Romania are the ones closer to Europe, but no British ones in there. Um, or Spanish. You've got the Spanish language, but no Spanish ones. Anyhow. They don't look wood, do they? These um, chips. <laughs> but they do look very cool. Um, now, the stretch goals, it does say down here that... Um, yeah, that they are putting all the bonus content up from is the way they're doing it, which is which is nice. Three additional game modes, and the power-up tiles, wooden bullets, and more. Um... Yeah, but you know, they might have an expansion for more ladies coming into the fray, or even some men into the fray. Um, this is why I, I do recommend they remind you, because they can surprise you, these, especially when there's no stretch goals and um, all that good stuff. It's getting good critical acclaim. It was at some conventions this year to test out, so it is. Um, does. Do, you know, it, it has been out there earlier on. On the Kickstarter, though, they're not showing much. This is the longer video here. And, um, yeah, two hours. We can watch a little bit of that. It's pretty cool. Uh, shipping is pretty good as well. Mexico shipping is cool. We like this. And it's fairly European cheap. We love it. Love it. Love, love the uh, shipping prices. It's very, very good. Now, we're not going to look at the rule book as we kind of want to do a, a quick video for a Friday as Friday is a busy day for us, but um, you can feel free to look at it yourself. That quick explanation kind of nailed it down the, and you can watch it in the playthroughs to get, a, get something where you don't need to look at the rule book. Uh, you can try it on Tabletop Simulator. They're very confident in the gameplay. It is looking very fun and um, they've even got a bullet soundtrack. What's going on here? <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so it's been in, been in development two years. It's not coming out for another, um, well, I'd say another year. It's you know, nine months. And uh, it's still obviously uh, being worked on a little bit. And um, with that time that they've got left, that potentially might mean that there is potentially that expansion coming and there might be an all-in pledge if the add-ons come in things might change up on the site um, and all that good stuff. I would recommend going to level99games.com um, they have good blogs about this game to get more information. The Kickstarter is... Um, I've seen a... there's a, maybe a, a, a trend starting where they want you to go to the Kickstarter page and the blog also as they don't feel confident enough with the Kickstarter page so we're starting to see that you've got to go Kickstarter page and blogs. Well, yeah, go over to the blogs. I'll put the link in the video description to go to the um, blog sites. You can find more about the world building, more about the characters and um, all that good stuff. Lots of stuff is happening. Quick look at the FAQ. Um, tells you the size of the box. And um, what about translation? <laughs> Um, that might come out something else and um, just talk about add-ons for other level 99 products it does say they'll be coming in the pledge manager so it is it is good but you can you can get them in their online store but if you want to combine shipping and stuff like that with this game then that might be preferable and it says why is it all female <laughs> No, so here we go. It says, Our decision to present an all-female cast is stylistic choice based upon the source material that they've all gone through. And um, so there we go. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not typically um, that bad with rolling a chick. I mean, I've got, in play World of Warcraft, I've got more chicky-do characters than men characters in World of Warcraft. And... <laughs> So I don't care. As long as they feel powerful to use and all that good 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 stuff with it. So 
yeah, bullet. We are keeping an eye on this. We want to see what else is coming in it and how much it is, and then balance the books. We might be min, min pledging for this one, and um, <clears throat> going in that way. There's a nine dollar minimum pledge, <clears throat> which is kind of the highest minimum pledge that I've seen. Um, but it is what it is. Nine dollars not too bad to put a late pledge in on this, and it does look very fun. Again, short game. Could be a filler. Definitely a nice gateway game. And um, certainly a good introduction if you're going to put out another level 99 game after this. Because they've got some fantastic fighting games on the market. And um, they've got some cooking on that will be coming to Kickstarter that have been delayed. Which is um, going to be very exciting when those come out. But they're going to have more meat on the bone, more complexity when they come out. One in particular is Exceed to look out for. They've got Street Fighter edition of that. Oh yeah, there's lots of lots of things happening with Level 99. The very cool Kickstarter company. They brought Bullet out here. It's doing well on Kickstarter. We're good to see. And wow, wow, wow. Do we recommend it? Yes, we do. Have a look at the gameplay videos. And if you like it, which we certainly do, keep it on your radar because it is looking like a hot game from Level 99 with a small box, but a lot in the box to love. Oh yes, that's bullet! We love it.